Another banger clutch here, ball python wise. This happens to be, ooh, look at her. This is a beautiful chocolate pinstripe, but kind of an unusual chocolate pinstripe too. So I love her to death. She looks like she's got some really beautiful eggs. Got one egg over there. Mama doesn't look happy with me as usual. They never look happy with me when I'm doing it. She was actually bred too. This banana chocolate spinner. So again, it's a banana, it's a chocolate, it's a spider, and it's a pinstripe. So down in the comments, let me know what you think I can produce with that combination. But what makes this clutch so absolutely incredible is not the genetics, which obviously is gonna produce some beautiful babies, but the fact is this clutch, oop, mom almost got me there. She's ready to go. This clutch is our 100th ball python clutch of the year. Yay, 100 clutches. We made it to 100. It's always great to make it to that three digit clutch wise. We still have about 60 clutches to be late to be totally honest. We'll pull a lot of them here. We'll pull the other ones over on Patreon, but let's go ahead and get mama off these eggs and she does not look like she's gonna be happy about it at all. Come on, don't bite me mama. Don't bite me, don't bite me. It's okay, I'm just taking your eggs away. You know what I mean? That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot more eggs than I expected because they're kind of small eggs. That is a good clutch, and look at mama. Oh, oh, come on, mama, oh, come on, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, gotta be quick and swift and all that other stuff here, you know? Gotta, gotta get away from them snakes. Ah! You can see her mouth just gaping where she's about to strike. Whoop, oh, yep, that's what I'm talking about. I got the last two eggs here. Oh gosh, I am a good snake thief too, right? And I'll be honest with you, we'll get mama all cleaned up, we'll get her all set and ready to go. Her hundredth clutch, she's a special animal for sure. And the fact that these are small eggs, there's a lot of them. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 eggs. I was expecting like seven or eight. So 11 eggs is amazing. And this is, take a look at this little cute egg here. This of course is a little boob egg here, but a little snake will hatch out of it. Should be completely fine. Other than that, that's absolutely incredible. So there it is, a hundred clutches down. Let me know in the comments what you think we're gonna produce. And by the way, what Welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Go to reptilearmy.com, join the movement, be a part of the Reptile Army. Obviously we had our fly rivers for the last couple days. They've settled in really good. And the idea is we've got to train them to come up and actually eat out of our hands. That's the important part. And these guys love fruit and stuff like that. So we don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get it to take some food. So this one, it's so close. It seemed like it was really interested. And the first thing is, of course, if we can get it to take it off of tongs and then eventually come up to the top and start taking it again. These love fruits and vegetables. Uh, they'll eat some trout chow and stuff like that as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and try the other one and just see. Again, it's a work in progress, but over the next couple of months, I want to get them to the point where they'll literally just come up and take things right out of your hand. That way, when they're in the expansion, people can actually feed them right out of their hands, which will be so dope. But let's try the other one. So no go on this one either. Again, they seem interested, but hey, it's a slow process. Again, they've never been hand fed like this. So uh, we'll get them there. And again, I'm telling you what, in the next couple months, they're gonna be amazing. But so far they've settled in and they're doing really, really well. The idea is really to keep the water super good, keep the filtration super good, keep the temperature really, you know, at that 82, 83 degree temperature range. So, uh, so hey, we'll get there. We're gonna get there. And I am absolutely obsessed at these things. It's egg time, baby. That means that there's some beautiful clutches. This is actually a head black, motley scaleless corn snake it was bred to a scaleless motley corn snake so we should get some motley animals we should get some scaleless motleys potentially annery scaleless motleys and the animal itself is a pretty interesting looking pattern too i mean look at how cool that pattern is it's not actually a motley it's just a really a barren pattern corn snake but that's pretty cool we'll get mama back in here we'll get her all cleaned up get her some fresh water you know the gig we do that every single time and we'll see how many eggs she actually has in here which looks like a nice little clutch right here we've got two four Four, six, seven eggs. And again, we're gonna have lots of combination of scaleless, motley scaleless, all kinds of stuff like that. And clubert eggs just keep on coming. And then we got another clutch, actually a second clutch from a Mexican black king snake. Just look at this girl right here. And again, she looks so good. Not a really big girl. So the fact that she laid two clutches this year is pretty impressive, to be honest with you. We'll get her all cleaned up, get her all set and ready to go, get new water in there, all that good stuff. You know the gig. And we'll see how many eggs she has here. So here we go. We've got two, four beautiful eggs. So hey, we got baby snakes, we got baby colubrids, we got baby ball pythons, we've got more eggs being laid. I tell you what, it's a great time to be a snake breeder, not to mention all the cool stuff happening at the Reptarium. Just have to take a break because this is a park that is right down from the Reptarium that we come. This is the park 
This is the park here. You can see the handicap sign, parking signs that are normally you know, where you can park your cars. And there's a little river that's way over there by the bridge. And you can see this river turned into a complete lake here. And look how fast the water is going all the way here. I mean, literally, this is a parking lot right here. And then all those trees are actually the park that Lori and I come quite a bit when we just want a little bit of a relax. You know, we come down the street. It's literally like a half mile away from the shop. Come, you can sit and watch the little tiny river. But there's been such a deluge here the last day or two that uh, literally the river turned into this amazing lake. I mean, this is freaky, man. I tell you what, that's crazy. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this in a long, long time. And I guess they're calling for rain for the next five days too. So uh, I have a feeling this lake is gonna be around for a little while. All right, enough of that. Let's head back to the shop. But I just had to show you guys because it was absolutely crazy. So we actually decided to name our black throat, our new guy that is selling in really good. We're gonna name them waffles, right? You know, so we have flapjack, we have grits, we have waffles now, but we have to start training the ball training, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just see if I can get him to come out with some food. Come on, buddy, come on. And he is such a mellow animal that he's not like Elvis where he just comes attacking. He's actually very good. So I'm just gonna try to get him all the way out if we can get him out. And I don't really know the animal well enough to know exactly how things are gonna go, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him this and I'm gonna kind of present this ball very gentle. I'm gonna show him the ball and understand that, and look at this guy, you can literally pet him right after. So let's go ahead and see if we can get him to come out. Come on, Waffles. Come on, Waffles. Come on. So now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap him with this first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give him that. Look at how gentle he is. Now I'm gonna just hide the ball and hide everything else. And I'm gonna just see how we can work with them. Again, Elvis is interesting because again, Elvis thinks when it's food time, he is just on fire. Whereas this guy, you know, you can tell he's still a little food motivated. So I gotta watch out, but now he's down. And it seems like he's really good. Look at him. Immediately he goes off of food and he's, you know, he's searching around, he wants food still, but he's not like attacking or anything. I can pet him and stuff like that. So waffles is absolutely amazing. And like I said, you can smell him. I mean, he literally smells like maple syrup. It is so crazy. So we'll let him walk around just a little bit, just so he can start getting that feeling, get that confidence to coming out like we want him to do, just like we do with Elvis. And this is the first time he's been walking around since he's been here. We gave him a couple days to just settle into his new enclosure, which he's all over the place, the basking spot all over the place, which is really cool. But now we're just gonna let him do a little bit of walkabout after feeding and we'll get that ball training going. But that's the first step in the process. What an amazing animal. It's ought to be fun. Yeah. What is the point of skating though? What do you do? You play hockey. Oh, ho I don't know how to do that. Right. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? You gotta get away from the board, son. <laughs> Look, I'm already doing this. You guys are You're not doing it. You're just you're just moving along the fence. You need a tie that I sit down? Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's snug. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to be able to do this now. Yeah. So what's the first thing I do when I stand up? You push. <laughs> He's doing it. You yeah, have what? to have your hands straight, you know. Your arms can bend. <laughs> How come every time I hit a rock I stop? Bend the knees. Yeah. We are going too Pizza. fast. We are going too fast. Yeah. We're doing it. Pizza French fry. Okay, remember I said you could be on our team? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to have tryouts. <laughs> yeah, we got tryouts coming up Tuesday. You guys ready for a 10 egg banging egg cutting? I tell you, I'm excited. It's a pinstripe bread to one of my favorite males, which is a pewter lesser bongo. So that's a pastel, it's a cinnamon, it's a lesser, it's a bongo. Then you add that pinstripe. Ooh, doggy, They're, I'm praying for that all gene animal. The bongo gene in particular is gonna be really cool. Not to mention you've got the cinnamon in there already. Crazy animal. Let's go ahead and jump into egg number one and let's just see if we make some magic. I tell you what guys, there could be some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff in this clutch. I have no idea what some of this stuff is gonna look like. I'm excited about the bongo stuff, excited about just everything really. So right off the rip, we definitely have a pewter. Looks like it's just a pewter to be totally honest with you. Looks like just a pastel and a cinnamon. Don't see bongo in there, don't see any of the other stuff, which is okay. We still have nine eggs to go. In the comments, Like I, I always like you guys to play along. Each egg, comment down below what you think I'm gonna produce because there should be some cool stuff. Let's just go ahead and look at egg number two. Oh, come on, man. I just wanna see some stuff that I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, and right up, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, Nelly. Oh my goodness. I think we might have hit 
the all teen animal. This looks like a pastel. It looks like a lesser. Looks like a pinstripe. Definitely looks like a bongo. Not sure if it's cinnamon though. That might be the one that we missed, but that is absolutely stunning. I mean, that bongo stuff is what I was really excited about, and that is an absolute ripper. Oh my gosh, we crushed it on that one, guys. Again, not sure if it's all gene yet. If we produce something else with the cinnamon that looks different, that may change everything. But let's go ahead and jump into egg number three. We still have eight eggs to go. Ooh, I tell you what, keep that comments coming, guys. I want to see if you guys know what you're doing down there in the comments section. Ooh, this is an interesting, hmm, this is peculiar. This is really peculiar because, listen, guys, um, there, that's just got a spider gene in it right here. So this is definitely a bumblebee, a pastel, and a spider, possibly a bongo. But the interesting thing is, is that there shouldn't have been spider in this. Now I'm wondering if that pewter lesser bongo is actually a pewter B lesser bongo. So it must have had a spider gene in there too that I didn't even know, which really makes it even more crazy. Let's just keep cutting, guys. You know, that's the thing about snake breeding is it always is interesting. And that certainly threw a big old twist in everything, adding an entirely new gene. Let's see what we got here. And again, that new gene popped its head out right again. This one looks like it's probably pastel spider and cine maybe? So this is either a pewter bee or there's a good chance, and I think there's even a better chance because how clean it is, that this is actually a pastel bongo spider, which would be absolutely incredible. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait till these crawl out because there's some pretty cool things happening here. Until they climb out, I'm not 100% sure. So uh, my mind is absolutely blown right now. We still have uh, two, four, six eggs to go, but let's go. Let's go ahead and jump into this egg right here that's already pipped out. There's one egg that pipped out, so let's see what's in here. Ooh. I tell you what, man, it's never a dull moment when you're cutting clutches of eggs. There's no doubt about that. So, okay, so now we have, okay, so now this is even, okay, let's back everything up, guys. Let's back it up, let's back it up. Because this is actually a Wilma ball python. Now, the Wilma ball python and the spider ball python are very similar when it comes to looks. So, this is definitely not a spider. It looks like a Wilma ball python to me. So, the other ones aren't spiders, they're actually Wilmas. All right, we're figuring it out, guys. We're figuring it out. I'm gonna have to go back to my records from like three years ago when we produced this male to find out what the breeding is to find out, but I'm almost positive that's a Wilma ball python. So, uh, wow, okay, let's keep going. It just goes to show you, it doesn't matter how long you're doing this, still surprises happen all the time. Okay, what do we got here? This is looking pretty, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's looking beautiful. I don't know what that is, but that is that. Oh man, that is beautiful. That is definitely a pastel, it's a cine, it's a lesser, it's a bongo, and I think that that's it. Maybe it's got Woma, I'm not sure, but I tell you what, guys, that is what I was looking for right there. That is an absolute ripper. So it looks like this animal is the same one as the second egg we cut, just minus pinstripe, and I love that kind of cool, soft look. Whew, that's beautiful. So we still have four eggs to go, let's keep going. Wow, we've definitely hit a couple surprises, and we've hit a couple rippers in this clutch already. And then here's a little cine here. Looks like just a normal cinnamon. Doesn't look like there's anything else, just a single gene animal. Three eggs to go. Oh my gosh, my heart rate has gone up through the roof with this clutch, man. All right, we've got another little Woma ball python, another single gene, weirdly enough. I mean, how weird is that? Two eggs to go, let's see what we get. All right, come on, let's get some more crazy stuff. This is a pretty animal, whatever it is. Okay, okay. Well, this is interesting. It's pretty. It's really pretty, to be honest with you. Looks kind of similar to one of the other animals we have. Looks like it's a pastel, it's a woma, and it looks like it's a bongo. So that's absolutely cool. We're getting, I think we have four or five bongos so far in this clutch. That's really what the payoff was. I wanted to get a lot of bongo stuff. So I'm super happy about that. Last day. Can we end this on a bang, please? Let's go. Comments, let me know what you think we're going to produce. Will it be the all gene? Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it looks nice, it looks nice. Looks nice. Okay, okay, so this is, it could be the all gene, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. Definitely pastel, definitely bongo, definitely lesser, definitely woma. Not sure if it's a cine though. That's the only one that we might have missed, but it is close. If we didn't hit the all gene, we almost hit the all gene. So I tell you what, guys, I couldn't be more screwed. Oh, that's right, we didn't hit pinstripe. There's no pinstripe in it, so definitely not the all gene animal minus the pinstripe. But nevertheless, what do you guys think? That was some pretty amazing animals, right? I'm not complaining at all. Some surprises, some cool animals. 
who died? I wish every egg cutting was like this. This was absolutely amazing. It's always interesting to see how the animals interact. You've got Elvis sitting over here, just kind of looking out at Waffles, not knowing what's going on. And Waffles literally, like so curious about Elvis, he's trying to get into the enclosure. So definitely really bizarre to see that, right? And Waffles probably hasn't been around these animals and certainly hasn't been out adventuring like Elvis does all the time. Don't worry, Elvis, I still love you. You're gonna be the, my baby. Elvis is still gonna come out a tremendous amount. But we do need to give Waffles this out of his enclosure time also. So uh, he seems to be really enjoying adventuring. Five months instead. Another Hi. Jonas break? She came to see yeah, Elvis she, too. She can't keep these uh, guys in their pen. <laughs> yeah, nope. nope. He's like, yeah, I'm going. Franklin always. <laughs> Here it goes. What? Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor. Here is a playlist right over here of baby snakes. Just go ahead and click on a video too. That would mean a lot to me. What else would mean a lot to me is if you hit the subscription button right over here. I sure do appreciate it. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.